this is Eric from Backstreet Surveillance. Today we're going to go through a video on setting your time and date on your NVR. This is pretty straightforward as we go through this. What we do is we're going to click here and we're going to go into setup once we click on the start button and then from there we're going to go to system and we're going to go to general and then under general you have what we see as the date and time is here. Now in order to set your date you've got a calendar function here and as you can see you've got your arrows that you can set your month and also your year. And then in addition to that you can also click on a day to set your date and in this case this is going to be August 27th of 2020. Now down here to set your time, it's pretty straightforward. In this case, we'll just set this to 09, and then we're going to set this to 24, and we're gonna click this, and of course, this is AM, so since we're on the 12 hour, we have AM or we have PM that we can select. Your date format is going to be of one of the following year year month month day day or day month year and typically we'll use month day and year if you want to go to military time you can switch this and then that will go to the 24 hour time if you want to use that and some do on your time zone this is Greenwich Mean Time this is the same time as the UK or Britain and GMT minus five is typically East Coast time. Central time will be GMT minus six, and at Mountain time where we're at, this is GMT minus seven. If you live in the Pacific time zone, that would be GMT minus eight, okay? In addition to that, we have what's called enable national time servers. And so if you decide to do this, you'd click this here, and this would override your time that you put in manually. And there are three servers that are available. There's your Windows time server, typically Microsoft. You have your time server from the government. And then of course you got your pool.ntp.org which comes out of Europe. Or you can have user defined. Now, if you decide to use this, be aware you must be connected to the internet in order to pull that time. And some people do not. And so typically they want to just set it manually as we're looking up here and leave it at that. In addition to that, most of the United States has what we call daylight savings time. And if this is unchecked, it's not going to use daylight savings time. Typically, if you're in, living in Arizona or Hawaii, you will not use this. But the rest of the country has been mandated to use it and usually this is going to be one hour ahead. The week that it starts, this is going to be March, and since it's the 8th this year, it's going to be on the second week. This always begins on a Sunday, and it always begins at 2 o'clock in the morning. This year it's going to end November 1st, and so it's going to be November, the first week. Again, it's going to be Sunday and 2 o'clock in the morning. If you decide to use your date format instead, what you would do is you'd go back and then you would choose the 8th and then to end this, you would go to November and then you'd go to November 1st at 2 o'clock in the morning and then from there you would hit apply and this will save your time settings. This is how you set your time and your date for your NVR. Thanks for your time. Do you want to know the do's and don'ts of installing security cameras? Do you want to know the secrets that the pros use to install security cameras? Do you want free expert system advice on designing your system? We provide all of that for you and the only thing you've got to do right there, subscribe. <laughs>